Today's video is sponsored by BarkBox. How many things can you teach your dog at one time and how much is too much? That's exactly what we're going to explore today. Click thumbs up for Louie. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, pick up a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. And if you like today's video, join our crowdfunding campaign on Patreon. I'll have a link in the description. Now let's learn a little bit more about Louie from his mama, Allison. Okay, go. I'm Allison, this is Louie. He's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and he's 12 weeks old. Zach has worked with our other dog, Miss May, and she's doing great. Louie here is our new addition. Louie's personality I would describe as a sweetheart, yet a bit of a firecracker. We haven't done a whole lot of training with him. He's still little and I don't want to overwhelm him. Zach, please help me teach Louie as much as possible without overwhelming him. All right, Louie, it looks like we've got a lot to cover today. Let's see what's in our new bark box. Look at this. That's a good squeaky toy. He's right into it. Look at this, little dumplings. They even have little faces. Oh, and they squeak too. Get that Chinese dumpling. There's dumplings everywhere. See that? That's a little higher pitch. That one's got a different sound. He just can't make up his mind. So I'm gonna need some good treats for today's lesson. New York City jerky bites, no grainers. Look how easily they break up. It's a crunchy buffalo chew. Good chew toys are really important. Fish skins, ah, they have a lovely scent to them that I think your dog is absolutely going to love. And it's nice to have that alternative treat for your dog. It's so fun too to surprise your puppy with all this new exciting stuff. And if there's anything in your bark box that your dog doesn't love, they'll send you something your dog does love free. You can get your free bark box by going to barkbox.com slash Zach George when you sign up for a six or 12 month subscription. I'll have all the details in the description. So how many things can you teach your dog at one time? Well, of course, this is going to vary from dog to dog. However, it's really important to get to know your individual dog to understand their individual attention span. So let's get this puppy train-a-thon underway and see how far we can get with him in a single training session. First, let's go with a classic like sit. Do you know how to sit yet? Let's see. Almost. Hey, not bad. How about lie down? Nice work. So he went right into it. So he's super receptive to that lure. We've got a sit. We've got a down. And now I'm gonna see if I can get him back into an up. How about that? I love teaching dogs lots of things in a single session like this. I'm just kind of covering rough draft versions of them because it keeps things interesting. It keeps them really engaged as long as you're keeping it peppy and fun for them, of course. Now let's try something a little bit more fun and put that puppy brain to the test. Spin is such a fun trick. I mean, one of the reasons we teach things like this is just to stimulate our dog's brain, keep them thinking, show them how to interact with us and really build communication together. Good, I'm gonna reward him there. That was awesome, Louie. You're such a spinning machine. Let's see if we can get shake. Many dogs have a habit of pawing at the treat. Look at that, right there, he did it on his own. So I want to reward that. Shake, he's moving so quick, it's so hard to let him know. Yeah, I like that, because he's moving a million miles an hour. All right, pace yourself, buddy. We got a lot to cover today. So it's a really good idea that when you're training a specific thing, focus on acknowledging the thing you're trying to teach at that exact moment. So in this case, I'll ignore the other stuff he's doing and really acknowledge when he lifts up his paw. Yeah, look at that right there. That was a little shake. I'll take that. By the way, I'm gonna have links in the description of most of the things that we're covering in today's video in more detail. I actually like to teach roll over and play dead simultaneously, but that's because they're a bit related. Let me show you what I mean. And now let's see if we can just get him to, look at that guys, look at that. There's, there's play dead. You look like a little cockroach, come on. <laughs> Now let's see if we can get him to roll over the whole way. There it is. <laughs> For a good job. He's funny. But let's try a play dead. And the bigger story here is that he's so yes. eager to follow those lures and so eager to interact with me because that's going to make future training sessions a whole lot more productive. That's one of the great things about positive training is that in order for it to be really effective, your dog has to be enjoying it. And when they're enjoying something, you'll find that their attention span is gonna be way longer and you can teach them so much. But what about something a little bit more practical? I mean, all of our dogs have to be able to come to us when we call them. So let's do a, a come when called game. Hey, Louie, come here, come on. Yes, good job. And calling your dog in that enthusiastic hyper voice is much more likely to get most yeah. dogs to come to you very eagerly. If they come to you from just a few inches away, that's totally fine. We just want to acknowledge any steps in the right direction at first. Teaching your dog to leave a treat alone when you put it right in front of them, that's going to take some brain power. So let's see if we can teach Louie how to leave the treat alone when I put it right in front of him. 
Okay, right there, he's naturally going for it, as you would expect. I've been giving him treats this whole training session. So when he goes for it, I'm just gonna close my hand, and when he backs off and he's a bit more polite, I'm gonna give him the treat to be like, hey, you're on the right track, and we're working up to being able to put that treat right in front of him without closing my hand and having him resist taking the treat out of my hand. Yes, good job. And right there, you could see he was going through all the things, trying to see, what, what's it gonna take to get that treat? If I go for it, does that work? No, that's not working. Are you believing that? Yes, I don't wanna push it too much. That was amazing right there. And you might notice, I'm not saying leave it, leave it, leave it. I don't wanna overwhelm him with a whole bunch of words right now since we're covering so many different things. It's more important that I just kind of introduce the concepts. Yes, get it, good dog, wow. Leave it looks great. But one of the single most important things that every dog has to know is how to look at you when you ask. If we don't have our dog's eyes on us, it's much more challenging to have meaningful communication with them. What do you think's gonna happen if I put the treat up here? Yes, good, and when I have eye contact for you know a good second or two, I'm gonna promptly reward him to let him know that I like that he's looking at the treat. So let me see if I can get him to kind of look at the hand signal like this. Yes! So that time I kind of introduced the hand signal of look at me. And I'm not insisting that he look at me for many seconds on end, nor am I withholding rewards or being cheap right now about rewarding him. I'm rewarding very generously because these are new concepts to him. So that's how we really kind of seal those behaviors in that we like. With this kind of energy, it would be nice to be able to have a regular outlet for him to get all of that energy out because a dog that's regularly exercised is far easier to teach in the long run and far easier to manage. So let's see if we can get him playing tug of war with something other than his leash here. I got a toy here, it's a Statue of Liberty. So I'm trying to get him just tugging on it right now because the power of play can be really amazing. Let me see if I can get him bringing it back to me. Come on, let's go. Yes, that counts as a fetch right there. Even though it was just from a foot away, if that, the fact is he put it in his mouth and he came towards me and he brought it back. That's how all fetch begins. And being down like this with a puppy is so helpful. It's like when he looks up at me, I'm right there to try to draw him in with my eyes and be fun and exciting. So many people make the mistake of tossing a toy really far and just hoping their dog figures out that they're supposed to bring it back. But the closer you are in the beginning to teaching fetch, the better. Hey, come here. Yes, good job. Tug of war is also a really valuable skill and could be one of the most powerful training tools out there. Let's see if we can get him playing tug. Get it. Get it. I'm just gonna stick with him through this because he might pick it up. And if he does, I want to encourage him to bring it back. Bring me the Statue of Liberty head. Come on. Yeah, look at that. 12 week old puppy fetch. That's impressive, guys. Good job. And I'm not just gonna take the toy from him when he brings it back. I'm gonna let him play with it a little bit to let him know, yeah, you bring that to me, we're gonna play with it together. I'm even gonna let go of it and let him kind of do his own thing with it for just a second. Now, as I would move on with teaching this, I would probably be a little bit more strict about let go, but not in the beginning. In the beginning, keep it as fun as possible. Louie, you might just be a genius. Yes, look at that. Of course, there's a fine line between overwhelming your dog and keeping the training session super engaging. So really try to do your best to balance those things. Get your free BarkBox when you sign up for a six or 12 month subscription by going to BarkBox.com slash Zach George. I'll have a link in the description and thank you so much to our crowdfunders on Patreon. Give a thumbs up to Louie because he's so smart and subscribe to my channel and pick up a copy of my book. All the links are in the description. We'll see you guys in the next video. Good job, Louie.